Convertisti Domini Sanctum Meum in Gaudia Mihi, et Cercum de Disti Me Letizia. Alleluia. In nome Patri et Filii et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Domus Fugitio. Ecum Spiritu Tuo. And a very warm welcome to this morning's offering of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. In a special way today, we remember Our Lady of Fatima and the wonderful messages which the Queen of Heaven brought to us here. And Fatima is very much for our time. So as we begin the suffering of the Holy Sacrifice, I'd ask you now to bring to mind all those people for whom you wish to pray, be they living or deceased. And we bring them to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Fratres, sonnashamus peccata nostra, ut aptissimus ad sacra misteria celebranda. Con Deo Deo omnipotente, et vobis fratres, quia peccavi nimis, con gitationi verbo opera et omissioni. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Edio prico beata Mariam sempre virginum, amnus angelus et sanctus, et vos fratres orare pro me, ad dominum Deum nostrum. Beate nostri omnipotens Deus et misis peccatus nostris, perducat nos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Oremus. Deus qui e genetricem filii tui, matrem quoque nostrum constituisti, Concede nobis, ut in penitentia et orationi pro mundi solite persevantes, in dies avaliamus regnum Christi, efficiacius promovere per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivet et regnet in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Thanks be to God. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. He looks on the servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all the ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. Blessed, Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the, bold the Son of the Eternal Father. Father. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm and strength and scatters the proud hearted. Blessed, Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Blessed be the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus was speaking, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said, Happy the womb that bore you and the breasts you sucked. But he replied, Still happier those who hear the word of God and keep it. The Gospel of the Lord. As we remember that remarkable event in Fatima, those holy apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, I want to begin by reading something which St. Maximilian Mary Colby wrote. Of course, he was a friar from the same Franciscan order as me, the Grey Friars or Conventual Franciscans. And this is what he wrote. He said, when you get ready to read about the Immaculata, do not forget that you are then entering into contact with a pure living being who is without stain whatsoever. Consider too that the words that you read are incapable of expressing who she is, for they are human words drawn from human concepts which present everything only in an earthly way. Whereas the Immaculata is a being belonging entirely to God, and therefore is to an infinite degree higher than everything around you. Recognize honestly too that alone, without her help, you are incapable of knowing anything about her, and consequently you cannot truly love her, and that she herself must enlighten you more and more in order to draw your heart to herself in love. Well, bearing in mind that St. Maximilian Mary Colby, who founded the Militia Immaculata, had such a great love for Our Lady and warned of the threats which were posed by certain groups already active in society around 1917. Of course, he would go on to be killed by the Nazis in a concentration camp but he teaches us a very valuable lesson so that when we read, when we listen to anything about Fatima, whenever we speak about the miraculous events of Fatima, we should not do so from a position of recalling some historical event. No, because we are very much living in the time of Fatima. That is our current situation that we're in now what Our Lady came to warn us about just a little over a hundred years ago. When Our Lady first appeared to those three little shepherd children on the 13th of May, those little children were chosen by her to transmit her extremely important message to us here at Walsingham today, and of course, to all God-fearing people across the world. If for a moment, we recall that extraordinary moment on the 13th of May in 1917, when God, really out of desperation, sent Our Lady to speak to the three children. Now, Sister Lucia, in her diary, when she wrote about the events, she says, this is about this first apparition, she said, high up on the slope of the Cova de Aria, I was playing with Jacinta and Francesco, Suddenly, we saw what seemed to be a flash of lightning. We began to go down the slope, hurrying the sheep along towards the road. We were more or less halfway down the slope and almost level with a large holm oak tree that stood there when we saw another flash of lightning. We had only gone a few steps further when, there before us, on a small home oak, we beheld a lady all dressed in white. She was more brilliant than the sun and radiated a light clearer and more intense than a crystal glass filled with sparkling water when the rays of the burning sun shine through it. Well, what did Our Lady first say to the children? Her very first words were, do not be afraid. 
I will do you no harm. Lucia was the first one to speak, and she said, where are you from? And our lady responded, I am from heaven. Now, these first words are very important because in our world today, we find so many people living under the grip of fear. The media across the world have done an incredibly successful job of spreading fear. With Our Lady watching over our souls, we have absolutely nothing to fear, provided we keep in a state of grace and we listen to what she says, we follow her instructions. Fear can be so destructive and so isolating, and it is not from God. God does not want us living in a world gripped by fear and darkness. But sadly, the world we're living in seems to be gripped by fear and darkness. But what does Our Lady say? She says, do not be afraid. Next, she says, I am from heaven. But actually, a more accurate, more precise translation or interpretation is, she actually said, I am, from, I am of heaven. And this is because Our Lady exists only for God. Heaven, of course, is eternal life, is total holiness, total light, total peace, absolute perfection. And Our Lady is all these things. The miraculous events at Fatima, as I say, are not just a, a set of instructions or messages in, in a chronological order of time. But rather, what we have to remember is these events at Fatima actually marked the real, actual presence of the Queen of Heaven coming to visit us here on Earth. This is absolutely extraordinary. She who gave birth to the creator of the galaxies, of the whole universe, deigned to come down to speak to those three little shepherd children. Our Lady came to Fatima to approach all of us because she loves us with her immaculate heart. She is the perfect mother, and she loves us perfectly as her adopted children. Now, she also wants us to approach her because the closer we draw to her, the more she's able to guard and protect us, the more she's able to guide us and point us to her son. So on this wonderful day, when we recall the, the events in Fatima, let us take just a few moments of time approaching Our Lady and let us recall that Our Lady's first apparition filled the children with great joy. In Lucia's diary, she wrote, the apparition left us filled with peace and expansive joy. So ask Our Lady to fill your heart with joy and peace, which flows from God through her immaculate heart to us. She is the dispenser of all graces, even sacramental grace. She is the mediatrix of all graces. And may God give you his peace. Amen.
Benedictus est Domini Deus Universi, qui ad tuor largitate cepimus panem quem tibi offerimus, fructum terre et opres monium omnium, ex quo nobis fiat panis vitae. Benedictus Deus in seculo. Benedictus est Domine Deus Universi, quia de tuor lagitate cepimus vinum, quod tibi offerimus fructum vitis et opres manum omnium, ex suo nobis fiat potus spiritalis. Benedictus Deus in seculo. Oratre fratres, ut me magfestum sacrificium acceptabili fiat apud Deum Patrim Omnipotentem. Sucipiat Dominus sacrificium demandibus tuus, et laudum et gloriam nomine sui, et utilitatem quoque nostrum, totisque ecclesiae sui sancte. Amen. Sucipiat Sancte Pater oblationim umilitatis nostri quantibi leite exipemos, Commemoration in Beata in Maria Virginis Celebrantes, et presta ur nobis sacrificio Christi Sushatis, temporalis fiat consolatio, et eterna salvatio, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, sorsum corda, Habemus ad Dominum, gratias agumus Domine Deo nostro, dignum et justum es, vera dignum et justum es, de equum et salutari, nos tibi sempre et ubique gratias agere Domini Sancta Pata, omnipotens eterna Deus, et te in venerazione beata e Maria sempre vergini scoladari e benedicere e predicare, que ed unigenitum tuum Sancti Spiritus umbo brazione concepit, et virginitatis gloria permanente, Lumen eterna mundu affudit Iesum Christum Dominum nostrum, per quae maestatem tuam laudant angeli adorant dominationis tremunt potestatis, celi celerumque virtutis ac beatis serafim suce exaltationis concelebrat. Cum quibus et nostres voces, ut admite iubias de precamo, supplice confessioni dicentes. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbat, Pleni sunt celi et terra gloria tua, Osanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomini domini, Osanna in excelsis. Te eju clementissime pate per Iesum Christum filium tuam dominum nostrum, supplices regamus ac petimus, ut accepta abbias, et benedicas eg dona, eg munera, eg sancta sacrificia illibata, in primis que tibi offerimus pro ecclesia tua santa catolica, quam pacificare, custodire, adonare, et regere digneris toto orbe terrarum, unucum famula tua papa nostro Francesco, et antiste nostra Alano, et omnibus ortodoxus atque catolica et apostolica e fide cultoribus. Memento Domine, famalorum, famalorumque tuarum. Et omnium circumstantium, quorum tibi fides cognita est et nota devotio, pro quibus tibi offerimus, vel qui tibi offerent hoc sacrificium laudes, pro se susisque omnibus, pro redemptione animarum suarum, pro spe salites in culimitate sue, Debique eredum voto su eterna Deo vivo et vero. 
cum indicantes, et memoriam venerantes in primis gloriosa sempre vergines Mariae genetrice Dei Domine nostri Iesu Christi, sed et beate Iosef e iusdum vergini sponsi, et beaturum apostolorum at matrem tuorum. Petri, Pauli, Andrea, Iocobi, Ioannes, Tomea, Iacobi, Filippi, Bartolomea, Matea, Simonus et Tadea, Lini, Clevi, Cleti, Clementis, Xixti, Cornilie, Cipriani, Lorenti, Crisogni, Ioannes et Pauli, Cosme, Damiani, et omnium sanctorum tuorum, quorum meritis precibusque congedas, ut in omnibus protectionis tue muniamo auxilio. Enc egitu oblationem servitutus nostre, sed et cunta familiae tue, quae sumus domine, ut placatus ad cipias diesque nostres in tua pace dispones, atque, ab eterna damnazione nos eripi, et in elatorum tuorum iubias grege numerari. Quam oblationem tuo Deus, in omnibus quae sumus benedictam, ad scriptam ratam racinabilem acceptabilemque facere digneris, ut nobus corpus et sanguis fiat directissimi firii tui, Domine nostri Iesu Christi. Qui, Pridi, quam Pater Eta accepit panum, in sanctus ad venerabilis manus suas, et elevatis oculus in celum, a te Deum Patrem Suam Omnipotentem, tebe gratias agens benedixit freget dedique discepli suis dicens. A cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes hoc omnes Est enum corpus meum, quod pro vobis tradetur. Simili modo, post quam cenatum est, a cipiens, et unc preclarum calicem in sanctus ad venerabilis manus suas, item tibi gratias agens benedixit, dedique discepli sus dicens. A cipite et bibite ex eo omnes, ec est enum calic sanguinis me, novi et eterni testamenti, qui pro vobus et pro multus effendetur, in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in meum commemorationem. Misterium fide, mortem tuam, annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confidemo donat venias. Unde et memores Domine nos servitum, sed et plebs tua sancta, e justum Christi filii tui Domine nostri, tam beate passionis nec non, et ab inferis resurrectionis, sed et in celos gloriose essentionis, offerimus preclari maestate tue, de tuas donas altatus, Ostiam puram, ostiam sanctam, ostiam immaculatam, panem sanctam vitae eterne et calicem salutis perpetui. Supreque propitio ac sereno vultu respicere digneris, ut accepta abre secuti accepta abre dignatus es, munere pueri tui justa aber. Et sacrificium patriarche nostri abreia, et quod tibi optilit simus sacerdos tuis Melchizedek, Sanctum Sacrificium Immaculatum Ostiam. Supleces te rugamus omnipotens Deus, iube eic brevri per manus sancti angeli tui, in sublime altare tuam, in conspecta divine maestatis tui, ut quatuat ex alc 
Patares Participatione. Sacro Sanctum Fiditus Corpus et Sanctum Subseverit. Omni benedictione celeste et gratia repliamo. Memento et sim domini famulorum, fa, famulorum famulorumque tuarum, qui nos precesserum cum signo fide in dormium in somno pacis. Ipsis domine, et omnis in Christo cuscentibus locum refrigerit lucis et pacis in dulgias deprecamo. Nobis quoque peccatoribus famunis tues de multitudine miserationum tuarum sperantibus partem aliquam et societatum donir digneris cum tuis sanctis apostolis et materibus cum Ioannus Stefano Matteo, Barnaba, Ignazio, Alexandro, Marcellino, Petro, Felicitate, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucia, Agnetta, Cecilia, Anastasia, et Omnibus Sanctis Tuis, entre quorum nos consortium, non est amat meriti, sed vine que sumus lagitor admite, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Per quem eg omnia Domini semper bona cria sanctificas, vivificas benedicis et prestis nobis. Per ipsum, et cum ipso, et in ipso, est tibi Deo Patri omnipotent in unitate Spiritus Sanctis, omnis ona et gloria per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Precertus salutaribus munite et divine institutioni formati, ademus dicere, Pater nostre qui es in celis sanctificetum nomen tuam, adveniat regnum tuam, fiat voluntas tua sicut in celo et in terra, panem nostrum cotodianum de nobis odie, et demite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitibus per debitoribus nostris, et noi nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos samar. Libera nos quesumis Domine, ab omnibus malis, de propitius pacem in debus nostris, ut opae misericordiae tui adjuite, et a pacato simus semper liberi, et ab, ab omni perturbationis secure expectantes beatem spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Quia tuam es regnum et potestas in gloria in saecula. Domini Iesu Christi, quid existe apostolis tuis pacem relinqua vobis pacem eim do vobis, ne respices peccata nostra sed fidem ecclesia tua, eumque secundum voluntatum tuam pacificare et coordinare digneris, qui vivus et regnus in secula seculor. Amen. Pax Domini sem fobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuum. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pari. Ece agnus Dei, ece qui tolle peccato mundi, beate qui da cenum, agni vogati sunt. Domine, non sum dignus, ut entre subtectum meum, se tantum dig verbe, se nabita anima mea.
de tare verga mata, que surrexit Christus de supro, alleluia. Oremos. Pascalibus sacramentis refecti que sumus domini, o que genetricis filii tui memorem recolimus. Vitam Iesu in carne nostre mortali manifestemus. Per Christum Dominum nostrum Iesum, Christum filium tuum, qui tecet vivat in reinat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tu, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pate et Filius et Spiritus Sanct. Amen. Ita misa est. Deo gratis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta Tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris Tui, Jesus. Amen. 
Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. This memorial of Our Lady of Fatima, we renew our consecration. O Immaculata, Queen and Mother of the Church, I renew my consecration to you this day and for always, so that you may use me for the coming of the kingdom of Jesus in the whole world. To this end I offer you all my prayers, actions, and sacrifices of this day. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray, pray for, for us who have, have recourse, recourse to thee, thee, and for all those who do not have recourse to thee, especially the enemies of Holy Church and all those recommended to you. Amen. Amen.